Get him, what you got? Get him. Double up! You I don't know. I keep on having Oh my goodness! Oh, oh nice one. Dude, this is nice. What is up y'all? Thank you for tuning back in with this episode of Lined Up Fishing. If you can't hear me, sorry about the wind. But we are gonna be doing some legit fishing today. And it's gonna be me and my little brother and a buddy of mine from Tennessee. And it, let's just leave it at this. It gets real, real quick. And we smash them. So stay tuned, stick with us. It's gonna be epic. And let's go then. I'm gonna try a Ned rig. Y'all, right there. That's that bait, one of the baits that come inside that little box. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Get him, what you got? That was awesome. Large mouth, ain't it? Please be a speck. Oh, that's a large mouth. Man, they're fat, ain't they? Nice little fish, man. <laughs> that was I know, man. It was like perfect for camera right there. Yeah, that's not no blargy. That's either a peacock or siglet. Ah! I think we could do bigger. We'll throw her back. We ain't got much room in that cooler. We'll throw her back and today boys we're only gonna keep the big ones. <laughs> nice bass. Oh, man, look at this guy. That is better. Yeah, look at the belly. Oh, that's a gar. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. All right. Probably about to put on my buff, man. Look at this guy. Little rock mouth. Ow! Oof! How big was the ones y'all were catching yesterday? Cause I caught one big one. Get him. Double up. You got a gar. I got a largie. It must just be a school of largies here. Oh my goodness. What are you doing, buddy? You're going back. I don't keep large mouth. I'm your friend. Thank you, Lord. Look at him right behind the boat. I believe that's not a bass. No, it's a bass. What? Thank you, Lord. Oh. That's gotta be a peacock. No, it's a cichlid. <laughs> Mac Daddy cichlid. I think we could throw that one in the box. It's done. Oh yeah. 
Here, just unlock the box, Joe, and leave it unlocked. It's a lock right there. Slide it. Told you. Oh my goodness, it is a wounded. Let me see it. It's right there. Right yeah, there. I know. It's an Oscar. Uh, she's sick. I don't know if you want to. Let me see it. She looks sick. Flip it. It looked like something took a chunk out of her side. No, chunk missing. Dead gummit. Watch this. Watch this. Oh my god! Oh, come on! I be <laughs> Dude, I bamble bast it. You gotta be kidding me. Flipper. I did flip it. I mean you can chunk it back in. Man! Dude, you know that was awesome. That was sick. Where's that? Give me that gaff, Joe. But you got a peacock. Nice peacock. All I can say is if this was a competition, we beat that other boat. <laughs> Something. I don't know. I think I'm having to save it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I flipped it off that pad and that ba it hit the water and that bass ate it. That was awesome. Bo I had to take a dive to see if it was Oh my goodness. That fish come up and ate it as I was pulling it off of that grass. So Levi I said I have a question. Oh that might be a peacock. Peacock! Here we go. Lower lure, come back and eat it. Got him! Look, Joe. What is that? Big old cichlid. Big old Oscar. See him right there? Flip him up there, too. Come on. Oh, that was horrible. Okay. Just flick it right now. Flick it right now. Don't open up the bell. Okay, pause it. Yep. Jerk it, jerk it, jerk it, jerk it, jerk it, jerk it. Nothing. Man. Yep. Ooh, that was close. Thank you, Lord. I sight fished her. Look, there's a peacock right there. Little peacock. Oh, man. This fish got some spunk to her, man. Peacock. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for one to start fighting over it and get two of them on there. I've had that happen before. There we go. I don't know how you have not caught a peacock yet. I've caught like 10 this morning already. Another one. <laughs> Little bass. I need a recorder, Joe. Can you shoot a can you shoot a short for me? Oh. Facing the armadillo. If oh. oh nice one. Dude, this is nice. My phone, I don't know if it's a big peacock. Oh, it's a nice largey. This is nice. Real nice. It's right there in that console. Look at this. Nice largey. <clears throat> Look at that. Solid fish, man. She's bleeding a little bit. Here she comes. Got her. <laughs> All that I can say is you boys better pick up the slack. <laughs> yes. I hope that's not a gar. He's a little bass. 
It's a gar. What's up? The pinky chartreuse? Uh. There she is. I sight fished her. That's a peacock. Thank you, Lord. Oh, she shook off my bait. Thank you, Lord. I didn't even hook it. Look at this. I The line come back around and grabbed the treble. I didn't even hook the thing. I noosed him. Look at that, Levi. I noosed the gar. What? Get him. Little bassy. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at that. I caught the biggest fish ever, Levi. Look at, oh, he's got a fish. Does he? What is that? It's a bait. Hey, is it a peacock? Come on, be a peacock, be a peacock. It's a cichlid. It's a, oh, you. <laughs> Show me your little wiener. The fish, I already threw him back. It's right there. Like Levi said, there she is. Like. I sight fished her. That's a peacock. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, she shook off my bait. Thank you, Lord. Hey, I do have a pink Meridine in here. Look, I was just making a joke, but Levi's son, you're the one that said that to your dad. Right there, y'all. I told y'all you were going to see me throw some more of the baits from that box on this trip. And here it is. These little egg zones. Everybody keeps on saying, well, I don't throw drop shot for the exo little minnow that it comes out of the box. You don't need to throw a drop shot. I'm going to tell y'all what's up. All these fishermen complain about what comes inside these boxes. If you're a good fisherman, you make what you get work. Like that. <laughs> you make what you get work. Y'all seen it? Those baits was not supposed to be used. Like I used them the other day, but they were schooling up oh, peacock. It's okay. I don't want to touch them anyways right now. This is a big one. But, and I made it work. Why? Because I knew the way they were hitting. And I knew the way they wanted it. If you're a good fisherman, you make do with what you have. Stop complaining about what you get and use what you got. Tip of the day. That is. That is. Every bait can be used differently. What's up, y'all? Thank you for tuning back in with this episode of Lined Up Fishing. And I can already hear what some of y'all are saying. But why did you say that? Why did you say you were good fishermen work with what they got listen they do that's just the plain fact of the matter I hate going fishing with somebody that's gonna sit there and complain about only having one bait two baits or a bait that's not made for what they're wanting to do make it work that's all I can tell you make it work I mean if you want to be a good fish fisherman even first starting out even a blind squirrel will find an acorn here and there First starting out, you can use the bait however you want to use it. It doesn't have to be used the way that everybody else says it has to be used. Even me, I mean, I catch myself sometimes telling people, the bait don't work like that, use it different. And sometimes you do have to use it different. But y'all, if it's the only thing that you get, work with what you get. Don't complain about what you get inside one of these boxes like the Bass Finder box or Mystery Tackle box or a lot of, cause y'all, I, I mean, I got a bunch of boxes inside right now with different baits for challenges coming up like the strike king box and stuff like that but i'm not going to sit there and complain about getting a 15 foot diving deep diver and i'm only fishing five foot i'm going to make it work no matter what i'm going to make it work because that's what i'm stuck with don't complain about what you're dealt with and use what you got okay best tip i can ever give you i can never give you another better tip that would work as a new beginner for fishermen or just an experienced fisherman. Use what you got and make it work. 
And if you want to make it work, check out this thing. If you think you're a good fisherman, try the box challenge because there's a lot of baits inside of here, y'all. And a lot of epic baits. This box I have not even shown y'all yet. So let's show y'all a few little baits. You know, I know I'm taking a little while. But let's show y'all a few little baits real quick. All right, this is what comes inside this box. This is Y'all are getting first looks at it. I'll be doing using this box pretty soon. I haven't really had time to use it yet. I got it like two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. But uh, been super busy, and I haven't even been fishing myself. I mean, I've, I've been bow fishing at night. That's it. So I'm gonna try to get it to use it soon. And Lord willing, I'm gonna go to a very special place, and it's gonna be epic whenever I use it because this water is gin clear. So stay tuned, stick with us. There's a lot of stuff coming soon. If you like to get your very own Bass Finder box, use promo lined up right there and also use promo lined up right there for cassette sunglasses i have been down there to the Everglades quite a bit and having a good pair of polarized sunglasses really really tunes you in for fishing because you do a lot of sight fishing down there so i'll drop the link for their sunglasses and for bass finder in the description check them out great companies thank you for tuning in if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and remember i'll see you next time on lined up fishing